Hi, this is Dr. McCord, and I'm going to show you how to go through the calculations for the delta H of a reaction, and in this case, it's for the combustion of methanol. So the first thing we got to do is make sure we have all the pieces for the combustion, which is going to be methanol, oxygen. It's going to make carbon dioxide and water. We want to make sure that we have the formulas for each of these guys, and so I've done that now. And then the next thing, we want to make sure we have it completely balanced. So we're going to balance the reaction and make sure everything's accounted for. Step three is making sure we have the state of each of those, and we do. We've got liquid, gas, gas, liquid. And so now I'm ready to go look up in a table of delta H formations each of these numbers. So I've consulted my table, and I am writing down each of the numbers I found in the table for each of the components. Notice how oxygen is zero because it is an element. Now we're going to scale each of those. Those are for one mole. We're going to scale them for the number in the reaction. So we are going to have to scale a couple of them. The other two will not. So notice how methanol is going to stay the same, and so is CO2. Methanol, matter of fact, stays at negative 238.86. The oxygen is going to, of course, still be zero. Carbon dioxide is going to be negative 393.51. And water will double to give me negative 571.66. Next step, sum up your reactants, which is pretty easy because there's a zero in it, but it's minus 238.86. And then we're going to sum up the products, and we're going to get negative 965.17. Last step is to sum up each of these. Now, we have to remember we add the products, and we subtract the reactants. When we do that, we get the final answer, which is negative 726.31. That's going to be in kilojoules per mole of the reaction as it is written. That is the final answer. It also happens to be the right amount per mole of methanol that was used because there was only one methanol in this. So after all is said and done, if we get rid of all the rest of the calculations and just look at the answer, we find out that for the combustion of one mole of methanol, we get negative 726.31 kilojoules per mole. We did that by using table values of enthalpies of formation. Thanks for listening. I hope to help you again in the future.